you know about it. So thank you, Chris, and uh, we'll be eating these for the next couple <laughs> of days, I think. <laughs> Hey, Dan, Jess, and everybody listening, thanks so much for, for the time and the opportunity, and have a fantastic week, and I hope you get a chance to get out and play 18 at least. Oh, yeah. Well, we need to. Thank you, and happy thanks Father's Day. <laughs> yep. All right. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to take a quick break, and then we are going to come back, and we're going to have our next guest. We're going to be talking to Kevin McKinley of Treetops Resort. You don't want to miss it. Stay tuned. Cinderella story out of nowhere. A former grangekeeper now about to become the Masters champion. It looks like I'm a rat. It's in the hole! A rat fly. Call me chocolate from the neck of your two Going four strokes under, get out the way If you wanna go play, cause I give it my all Every single day, have a lot of cash Cause I'll sing my heart And we are back, and it's time for another message From a wonderful sponsor And oh, yeah. you're gonna take care of this one too, Josh, Absolutely. right? Absolutely, and Thank again, you. another uh, another Wonderful Father's Day gift opportunity Here, whether you're getting a gift card A new driver, or uh, something like A GPS system But uh, you can do that where you go and experience the passion and love of the game at Edwin Watts Golf Shops, and you'll find the latest in golf technology, custom fitting, and the most knowledgeable staff in the industry. For over 40 years, Edwin Watts has been the most trusted retailer in golf. You'll have the ultimate shopping experience as you get fit using the tailor-made About Golf, Game Changer, Ping and Flight, or Mizuno Custom Fitting Technologies. Purchases are also backed by the 90-day playability satisfaction guarantee, the strongest guarantee in the industry. Right now, purchase three dozen golf balls and get a dozen free with imprinting on Titleist Pro V1s, Bridgestone B330s, and E6s, tailor-made preferred tour and Callaway Speed Regime golf balls. In addition, you'll receive an instant $100 rebate on the Callaway X-Hot Driver, $200 $200 off Cleveland irons and $100 off an eight-piece set of tailor-made irons. When purchasing an Odyssey putter for $149 or more, receive a $25 gift card. So a lot of great deals at Edwin Watts. Visit an Edwin Watts golf shop today with five convenient South Florida locations in Fort Lauderdale, Palm Beach, Plantation, Doral, and North Miami. Or visit us on the web at edwinwattsgolf.com. That's edwinwattsgolf.com. And we are back, and uh, we're hearing about treetops, yeah. but that's all we're hearing about treetops, because we, we've lost Kevin again, so yeah. um, well. I don't know. I, I knew that it was, like, far north, Yeah, but yeah. It, it must it might be, be like, snowing. It, it may very well be. I, I don't know, but um, I think what we'll do is, is not talk about them right. any longer, so uh, we'll move on to something else. But um, what I did want to discuss briefly was um, a story that I had seen in the news, and I am going to try and find it right now. Um, And this is something that I personally experienced on my trip to New York that I took a couple of weeks ago, and it it really um, didn't sit too well with me. Uh, I I saw this story online, and um, it it was basically, it came out of the USA Today, I believe, and uh, uh, Air Fair Watchdog and a couple other folks uh, all were carrying this. And um, it had to do with your carry-on baggage. And uh, it seems that the parties, the airlines that they're talking about is American Airlines and Delta Airlines and United Airlines. Uh, I happen to have flown on Delta. And um, the bag that I use for my carry-on that I've been using for the past, like, 15 years, uh, granted, it's time to replace it, but it, it's still, I mean, they've tried to ruin it time and time again, and they haven't <laughs> been able to. Traveling. But, um, yeah, um, but... I've always carried it on, and it always fit in the overhead, and it, you know, it was sold to me as, as a carry-on bag. Right. Um, but the folks at Delta, they put it in their little box that they have, and it didn't fit. It was like Ooh. an inch too big. Interesting. And 
I, I said to myself, you know, not only did it not fit, but they were like vigilant about it. They were like mean about it and mm. angry about it and forcing every single person to check to see that their suitcase fit wow. in that, you know, little thing. Nickel well, and dime. Well, in, in reading the story, it says that, yeah, sure enough, they've lowered the size by an inch to the size that 90% of all manufacturers had not been making their carry-on suitcases for. And, of course, lo and behold, it's all about the dollar. You know, yep. It's all about being able to charge people more to force them to check bags so that they could get the check baggage fees. Yeah, it's just ridiculous. I mean, uh, I, traveling's tough enough, and now they're just... But the airlines have always done that, right? I mean, they've always nickel the dime. They've gone from serving you a full meal to now they give you, uh, you know, a bag of, <laughs> bag of you peanuts. you need to carry your own uh, <laughs> you got to bring your breaker. bonk breaker yeah. cars. Um, uh, but, uh, but yeah, I mean, it's just... Uh, it's but just you know what? I customer service is not good. I don't mind if they're upfront and they're honest. Right. Um, you know, if they're telling me that the way that the, the planes are built, that the suitcases don't fit... Okay, I yeah. get that. But to do that and to cause everybody to have to throw out all of the carry-ons that they've bought over the years mm. and replace them with new ones. Yeah, not happening. It, it's just not right. So personally, that's, I... That's I, why I fly Southwest Air. I usually do. Um, uh, this time I'm, I'm flying uh, back from New York. I'm actually driving to New York, but I'm flying back on JetBlue. They, mm-hmm. they also are very generous with their policies for both check yeah, bags as well as carry-on. Uh, Southwest as well. I, yep. I, I have heard that they may change their policy. Mm. They're looking into it with you know charging fees for um, check bags. Uh, I don't like that idea. I mean, they've been as, as a marketing guy, yeah. uh, they've been promoting the fact that they don't charge for that for the ever. years. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I, I mean, they're they're profitable already. I, I would hate to see them uh, turn around on that, but. Um, mm. I don't really mind that much if you're going to charge me for something. Just be honest about it and and truthful and not pull that kind of nonsense that those three airlines, I'm not going to even mention their names again, are, are pulling. So No, it's just not, it's not right to the traveler. It's not right to the consumer. And uh, But, you know, obviously they can get away with it and, you know, do what they want to do, right? Free market. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, I'm personally boycotting, so <laughs> that's, that's what I'm going to do. Exactly. I urge everybody else to do yeah. the same. At least deal with people that you can trust who are truthful with you. And, yeah. and I don't mind paying, but don't take me for a jump. Well, in JetBlue, you also get the TVs in the back of the Ooh. chair, so that's even better. That's why I always look for JetBlue flights or Southwest flights. It is, flights. and, and I'm, I'm flying out of JFK where they did a huge renovation and, and really mm. made the terminal gorgeous. So if you are going to get there early, which you typically need to do these days, sure. that you know you may as well be in a nice terminal. And yeah. um, So they've done the right thing as well, so oh, yeah. uh, reinvesting yeah, yeah. a little bit. So, Absolutely. So I will... I will go that way. Okay. Um, now, you wanted to also speak a little bit more about the uh, the Open. Well, yeah. I mean, it's just watching the Open is just, uh, it's fun. It's fun to watch it, and it's fun, especially it's Father's Day weekend, which, by the way, a, a plug for uh, the Jess Frank Golf Academy. We are running a Father's Day special. Oh, isn't so, that yeah, special? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, uh, for two ninety nine, we're going to do four hours of uh, two hours on the range and two hours on the course with lunch in between, and you can bring... Your son or daughter, and uh, it's a great way to spend the day uh, with your dad, and uh, it's a, it's a lot of fun. So it's something that I'm offering to uh, the listeners out there. And if you bring, what we're also doing is that if you bring uh, another couple, another father, son, father, daughter, um, I'm offering a hundred dollars off each uh, package. So wow. it only costs you one ninety nine per person or per per couple. That's crazy. Father, child, yeah, you're yeah. Like giving it away. Yeah, well, you know, I, I, I like it's a it's a wonderful gift, and, I, and you know, I'll tell you the truth. I remember playing with my dad, and that's kind of how I got into got into playing golf, and 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 he kind of steered me into it and everything, along with my older brothers. But uh, my dad was uh, somebody who I always looked up to, and I loved teeing up with him. And in, in my high school years, we would get up at six in the morning and go out to the local muni track and play eighteen holes, and those were just great memories and uh, something that uh, we played Cog Hill, we played all over the Chicago land area, and so I know how how what a great memory uh, that would be just to kind of hang out with your dad for the uh, for the day, you know, around the golf course and have some fun, hit some good shots, make some memories. And so, you know, that's what's neat about the U.S. Open. And, and you know, I remember in 99 when Payne Stewart, you know, beat uh, Phil Mickelson and he told Phil, he goes, don't worry about it, you're going to be a father. You know, so it's kind of a, it's a really special weekend. And, uh, you know, it's a, it, that golf course is unbelievable, though. I mean, Pinehurst number two, what they've done, the core, uh, core Crenshaw group, 
And what they've done is they've taken all the rough away. So now it's just all fairway. But if it, it runs off into basically sand dunes and whatever kind of gunch or whatever those weeds are out there that you gunch. gotta, you gotta, you gotta, yeah, they come up with euphemisms punch. for yeah. weeds. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta, you gotta punch it back out into play. But, uh, you know, watching Phil Mickelson hit some, you know, unbelievable shots out of some, some really bad areas. Um, and just, it's a, it's a really, I mean, North Carolina, the Sand Hills, it's just a beautiful area and, and to play golf there and, and this golf course. And then the greens, it was really cool. I was watching an ESPN the other day. They had Andy North had like a bowl on the, um, on this table and he put a golf ball on top of the bowl, like a salad bowl. The bowl's upside down. And, uh, and he just touch it and he roll off <laughs> down off the, off the set and they're like, yep, these are what the greens are like. And so a combination of fast fairways, fast greens, you know, the Don, old Donald Ross kind of, uh, reverse turtle back or turtle back greens. Um, you know, it's really an exciting, exciting week. So. Yeah. Some people who live in the north part of our county here, they think that Donald Ross is just a road. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I know. When, when I first came down here in 93, I saw that. I was like, oh, how cool is that? You know, the golf designer, golf architect is, has a road here. But, yeah, he was unbelievable, and that golf course is uh, is just phenomenal. And for Martin Keimer to be 10 under through two rounds, 65-65, is uh, just off the charts. So uh, We were talking earlier, and, yeah. and it's it's not what the USGA expects. I mean, they, right. they like to make the toughest test. They like to make uh, the U.S. Open stand out from all the other events that are played on, sure. on courses that are designed for the players to typically go low. And, of course, the, the players, um, most of the other tournaments, almost every other one, um, they're run by the players. It's, right. it's the PGA Tour. It's, it's the, the players they get together, and they sure. kind of have a voice, and they can dictate. The U.S. Open is run by the USGA. Yeah, USGA. The players can't dictate to them how right. to set it up. And they specifically want to be different. They don't want to be yeah. just like every other tournament. So yeah. they want it to be a very, very tough test. Oh, yeah. And, and it, it is. It is. I mean, Keimer is kind of, you know, he's a offshoot. I mean, the guy is just, uh, you know, the rest of the field. I think there's there's a guy at four under. Um, and uh, so, I mean, he's six shots ahead. I mean, it's just but, like But where does like this Tiger. come from? Now, I, I mean, obviously, it, you know, it sets up maybe a little more similar to European style right. courses, the way it's, you know, more natural that, and not as finely manicured. And, that's a good you question. Know, but you know Martin Keimer. Martin Keimer is um, basically he won the Players Championship this year at True. CBC Sawgrass. And, and a couple of years ago, yeah. he was really hot for a while, yeah. and then he, he well, kind he changed of his swing. Or, what happened? Yeah. What happened was he won. He won the PGA Championship actually over Dustin Johnson. Where it's funny because at the Whistling Straits, Dustin Johnson, you know, he grounded his club in a hazard, and so he got caught for the sort of this penalty. So that's why he lost the yep. PGA. So now they're here at another sand dune course, and. Um, um, but but yeah, Keimer he won the PGA and then he changed his golf swing and which players do they just trying to search for that extra whatever you know how do you change your golf swing after you win a major championship but it happens and, and it happens more often than you know and people fall off the and it takes face a of the while planet to, to so come he's back, finally right? gotten yeah. back and then he wins he wins at TPC Sawgrass which is one of the most difficult courses on tour and then you know very similar to the greens actually the greens are very similar between TPC Sawgrass and Pinehurst because a lot of the greens at Sawgrass are a bowl upside down bowl shaped and so you have to hit it at you know, you got to be very precise. And so, you know, another thing with Pinehurst is it's almost 7,600 yards. So it's super long golf course. But these guys hit it a mile. And it's just, um, there's a couple of young kids out there, too, who the kid who won the USAM is is playing. And um, it's just unbelievable. They, they look like they're 12 years old playing out there. I'm, like, I'm getting right. old. <laughs> that, that just ain't right. But, but you know, yeah. I, I mean, we know that it rained and it softened the greens. And, mm-hmm. and it made it a little bit easier to stick on those those greens. Yep. But but still, it's no. only Keimer that's shooting so low. Yeah, so, exactly. I mean, what what exactly. does he figure but, out? But you never, it, well, he's just, he's striking it solid and he's making putts. And that's what it takes to... Uh, to win the U.S. Open, so we'll see. We'll see what happens this weekend. All right, well, I think what we will do is take a final break, and uh, we will be back, um, and we're going to talk a little bit about some great deals at some Hiltons and oh, places yeah. that you definitely want to go to. Uh, so stay tuned, and we'll be back with more of the Golf and Travel Show.
And we are back. And um, I think I'm going to take this uh, last sponsor because it's my favorite. No, oh, thank okay. you. Okay. And that would be, of course, the Jess Frank Golf Academy, which is the home of the playing lesson. And, of course, my co-host, Jess Frank, who for 15 years has been improving golfers' ball striking, consistency, and distance. He's a PGA teaching professional and owner of the Jess Frank Golf Academy, which is located in Boca Raton at the beautiful Boca Dunes Golf and Country Club. So if you're a seasoned golfer who's trying to break 80 or a beginner, Jess's passion is to help you play better golf and have a lot of fun while doing it. Each lesson includes on-course time with V1 video analysis, focusing on improving all facets of your game. And for a limited time, new students who mention the Golf and Travel Show will receive a $50 Edwin Watts gift card with the purchase of a series of lessons. To learn more about the services of the Just Rank Golf Academy, call 561-213-8579. That's 561-213-8579 or visit JustRankGolf.com. Also, check out Jess's videos on YouTube, Facebook, and LinkedIn. And we are back. And uh, Kokomo may be the only place where you can't find a Hilton that's offering a special <laughs> deal right now, I think. But all those other places, I'm pretty sure you can find. And, and it's only because Kokomo is not real. It's it's yeah, fictional. But exactly. um, but there are some really cool deals. And when I saw them, and you know, I, we always fight with ourselves here. I mean, are, are we trying to send people away from Florida? Yeah. Or are we trying to send people or bring people to Florida or are people vacationing locally and we're staycationing? We're giving them options. You know? I, but I get so confused, you know. <laughs> on one hand, you're saying leave. On the other hand, we're saying stay. But you know what? It's all good. Yeah, exactly. I just, I just staying home is boring. You like to go somewhere, right? You do something. And, yes. and having friends and relatives stay at your place oh, is yeah. not always so good. No. So with these great deals... Now is the time to take advantage and to find out a little bit more about what Hilton is offering. We've got the Director of Corporate Communications for the Southeast U.S. for Hilton, uh, and that would be Lisa Cole. Lisa, are you with us? I am with you. Hi, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you? We're doing great. You must be exhausted from trying to urge those heat on, huh? Oh, gosh, I know. But there, you know what? I still believe. I'm not giving up. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, good, and and I think all good, all true fans never give up. So, and, and trust me, there are many teams that never make it to the finals. So, I think those exactly. Heat fans have plenty to be proud of. But exactly. Um, but in any event, um, you know, I, I, I travel around the country a lot. I'm, I'm I I'm always looking for deals, and I happen to stay at Hiltons, and I and I'm always pleased where I stay. But there's nothing better than being happy where you stay and getting a really good deal at the same time, right? Exactly, and this is the season, um, especially for Floridians, um, because uh, we like to take care of our friends within the state. And so this, um, from now until the um, end of September, um, most of, many of our hotels, and remember Hilton has a number of brands, so it's Hilton's, Conrad's, Waldorf's, Embassy Suites, Doubletree, Hilton Hotels and Resorts, Hampton Inn, Hilton Garden Inn, we have a number of variety of different brands, and um, all, uh, all of our hotels are, are doing nice little, putting a little sunshine um, in the state of Florida and offering um, our residents an additional $25 hotel credit with a two-night minimum stay. So you get a little extra uh, to spend on either Wi-Fi or parking or uh, golf or um, spa treatment or food and beverage or recreational activities, whatever you want. Hey, who doesn't like a little extra, right? Everybody wants a little something. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> now, now there, there's a, you have a, a tremendous number of um, properties here in Florida, right? Wasn't it like over 300? Exactly. Um, we have a list, and if, you, if they go to Hilton.com, they can find the participating hotels. But even some of the hotels, I will say that if you go on that site, you can find hotels that are offering rates for as low as $19 in the summer. So, um, you know, it's a great time to travel. I would, uh, as a tip, tell people, don't go just on a weekend. Consider going in the middle of the week. Um, and a lot of the hotels will offer um, extra breaks during during the middle of the week when they're not as busy as they normally would be in, in season. So, um but yeah, um, our hotels everywhere from Pensacola all the way down to the Florida Keys. I heard a commercial. We have a 
beautiful properties in, in Key West and even in Key Largo. It's a great little hotel that's charming and set in the and a, a great little spot to park, I would say, with a, with a good book uh, this summer. Now, now, some of the properties that Hilton has also does include golf courses, correct? Yes. We have some beautiful courses. Uh, Bo- actually, right there in Boca, we have a Boca Raton Resort, which is just uh, spectacular. But also the Waldorf Astoria Orlando has a beautiful uh, golf course. I opened that hotel in 2009, and it's just a breathtaking course um, at the at Bonnet Creek there. Um, Naples, we have a great course. Um, and um, throughout the state, um, we have some nice courses. Now, also, uh, you had mentioned uh, one of your properties when we had spoken earlier. That is a, a place that I, I visited briefly here and there, but I've never really immersed myself, and that would be down in Key West. Um, I believe you have a pretty cool uh, Waldorf property down there, don't you? Yes, we do. Actually, it's two, and um, I was just down there, and um, the Casa Marina, which many people know, it's a historic landmark hotel, and just uh, beautiful, but it also has a sister property right next door called The Reach. Both are Waldorf Astoria properties, and um, they've got some some great rates this summer, but um, the Casa Marina is truly a, a terrific, terrific little spot. And and what I like about both of those hotels, they're on the, the southernmost point, so it's quieter, so to speak, side of Key West. But if you want to get to do it all, you just, it's not too far away, and, and it's a five-minute walk, so yeah, I, I think nice walking in, in Key West, walking is always premium because people unfortunately are drinking. So better to stay out of your car and have uh, the opportunity right. to walk. And, you know what? The great thing about there is they have you know, they've got the bicycles, they've got those little go karts, they've, they've got so many different other modes of transportation. But you know, I uh, when I was down there, I took a nice walk. It was really actually very nice. It was really um, I thought Key West is uh, it was fun. I hadn't been there in a while, so. Uh, Definitely something uh, your listeners might want to add to their list of getaways this summer. I've, I always wanted to go down there for their uh, big festival in, what is it, in October or something? They got that crazy festival. Yeah. <laughs> well, one of the things, like, you know what, I, 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 t- I handle many, many regions, like um, Key West, like New Orleans, they have, I think, a festival every weekend. <laughs> yeah, this is true. Uh, you, know, it's, uh, you know, because that's what they do. That's how they roll. Um, <laughs> and... Um, but actually, we're doing an, there's an art festival in November that, um, I was just on a call about because at the Marina, we're doing a sand sculpture contest and we're bringing in international, uh, sand sculpturists who will be, uh, competing for prize money. Um, and we're doing that at the Casa during Thanksgiving weekend. So, um, and it's part of, uh, Key West art festival during that time of year so there's always some kind of uh, uh, festival going on and, and that's actually a good time because uh, there's a lot of great artists that are down in Key West you know a lot of people hang out there are, are the creative type oh yeah no I think not long ago I heard there was a, a songwriters festival that I thought was pretty cool so they, exactly. Yeah, very neat things. Yeah. Now, now we were just talking a few minutes ago how Jess has the best job out of anybody, but I think you may give him a run for the money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, I do have a pretty good job, I have to admit. I've yeah. been with Hilton very, for a long time, and it's a great company to work for, but, you know, it's a great business to be in the hospitality business and, and certainly um, fun when, to welcome guests who are uh, coming to relax or to enjoy or to get a little getaway. And and that's the beauty of this company. We have a brand for, um, you know, a variety of needs and um, certainly um, great spots to get away anywhere in the world. Now, speaking of which, I know that you also do work in the Caribbean, and since it's so simple to get there from here, um, any good deals going on in the Caribbean? Well, always. Um, you know, the Caribbean, it, like like Florida, is a great. I feel like we are, Florida is part of the Caribbean, actually. Um, mm. <laughs> and um, like Barbados is a great spot. The Bahamas. Um, we have uh, Costa Rica. We have um, um, there's some really great little spots um, to park and uh, relax. And uh, like I said, the Hilton dot com. If you go on there, just punch in whatever. Uh, destination, um, and we have most likely have a deal for you there. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, we, I think we're very fortunate to be here that there are so many places that are an easy and inexpensive flight to that, um, you know, if you get bored of the Florida tropical scene, then then you can always check out a different one. And um, 
you yeah, know. Please. I mean, I, I, I my favorite place, uh, one of my favorite places to go from here in the Caribbean is is Puerto Rico, and I've I've stayed at the Hilton there, and and I know you've got a, a Waldorf property or two, I believe as well. We do. We have quite a number of properties, Elcon, and we have the Waldorf, um, uh, really nice uh, properties, and there's a few that have the casitas, which you know, kind of like the bungalows, which are really great, uh, and uh, the home of the pina colada. <laughs> yes. Where the pina colada was created. Mm-hmm. No, I, I've I've done that. Been there, done that. So I, I love old San Juan. I mean, it's really nice to spend a lot of time at a beautiful resort at the beach, but it's also nice to check out the history and, and some of what's going on uh, in old San Juan, too. So uh, yeah. very cool places. I mean, all the, all the Caribbean islands have some wonderful history uh, besides just laying at the beach. So it's, it's nice to go and, and do all of it when you get a chance, uh, not to mention the tropical drinks, of course. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Now, could, we're just about out of time, so one more time, can you just remind everybody the best way, if they would like to do a little research and find out about these deals and which properties are available through the Hilton the chains? The easiest thing, yes, the easy thing to do is just Hilton.com, www.hilton.com, and then they can search and see which hotels are participating in the Florida residence, but also this summer many of the hotels in Caribbean anywhere um, and Caribbean and in South America and in Latin America and in our, uh, you know, in the state of Florida are offering great deals for summer travel. So just go to Hilton.com or, uh, 1 800 or call 1 800 Hilton and, um, uh, we'll be sure to help you, uh, put together a nice little vacation. And make sure to sign up for the Hilton Honors Program too. Yeah. They take good care of you that way. Yep. <laughs> yes, the Hilton Honors, because that's the beauty is you get honors points on top of it. So to use for yeah. travel some other time. Life is good. If you're not yep. a member of a Hilton Honors, get become a member wherever you stay. Become a member because whenever you stay, you get points. And and uh, you build up those points just like airlines. You get, uh, get free stays. Honors. Exactly. I mean, free is even better than That's these right. great discounted deals. Yeah, it, 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 it does yeah, get better. Free work. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Lisa, thank you so much for coming on and telling everybody about these wonderful deals because I'm sure everybody is going to start booking them and have a better summer uh, for it. So thank you so much. Thank you. Have a great one. All bye right. Bye. You too. Bye-bye. All bye right. Bye. Um, so... That's a diverse show, I guess. Yeah. We uh, you know, awesome. certainly covered a lot of different things. I want to remind everybody uh, one more time about our little excursion that we're going to be taking uh, this coming Wednesday. Uh, you can see Jess and I. Uh, if you come visit us in Meisner Park at Jazz Is Nightlife, and we'll be there seeing Nicole Henry. It's the second month of her uh, residency there. So that's June 18th, Wednesday. We'll be there at 7. There's another show at 9 p.m., and she will also be there the following month on um, July 23rd. You can also catch her at the Blue Note July 4th weekend in New York or at the Cotton Club in Tokyo, Japan, August 3rd through 5th. So we'll be there. Hopefully we'll see you there as well. And um, also want to remind everybody that they need to uh, check us out on Facebook and like our page. You can find us at facebook.com forward slash the golf and travel show. And, of course, tune in next week when we're going to have – Another great show, and uh, just a quick thanks to all of my uh, guests. Um, of course, that would be uh, Chris Frank and Lisa Cole and my co-host Jess. Thank you. Thank you, And Dan. happy Father's Day to you and to everybody else that's out there. Enjoy. Yep. Happy Father's Day. And every stop is neatly planned for a poet and a one-man band. Homeward bound. You have been listening to the Golf and Travel Show, hosted by Dan Chu. Heard live every Friday, 7 to 8 p.m. on 1470 WWNN, and replayed every Sunday from 6 to 7 p.m. on 740 a.m. WSBR. Visit the show on Facebook and tune in next week. If you are in South Florida or traveling the world, hit them straight. The opinions expressed on the following sponsored program are strictly those of the host, guests, and callers, and not necessarily those of the station, its staff, management, or sponsors.